algae occurrence of algae algae are simple plant-like organisms that can be found easily in moist habitats some of them are unicellular and microscopic while others are multicellular and quite big their size can vary from 1 micron to 50 meters they are found in various types of moist habitats such as puddles ditches crevices of rocks streams etc some algae are attached to rocks while others swim or float in water of ponds rivers lakes oceans etc large algae that grow in oceans are called seaweeds and include the variety known as kelp some are also found on the bark of trees or grow within plants and animals some of them also show symbiotic relationship with others for example lichens show symbiosis between algae and fungi they are rich in chlorophyll and are thus seen as a thin green film on the surface of lakes and ponds have you ever noticed them for this reason they are also known as grass of water size shapes and forms of algae the tiny unicellular algae are barely one micron in size while multicellular giant seaweeds are several meters long unicellular algae are oval rod shape or spindle shaped multicellular algae are filament like or have plant like branched flattened body the algae exists in various forms the following table shows forms and its examples unicellular algae like chlamydomonas diatoms multicellular algae like fucus polysiphonia kelp etc colonial algae like volvox multicellular filamentous algae like spirogyra nostoc anabina etc nutrition and reproduction in algae algae are autotrophs they contain chlorophyll and manufacture their food the algae reproduce asexually by fission fragmentation and spore formation sexual reproduction occurs by forming flagellating male and female gametes types of algae all algae possesses chlorophyll but all of them are not green why is that well because some of them possess other pigments also based on the presence of additional pigments algae may have green blue green brown red or golden brown color green algae green algae contain chlorophyll and are green in color these may be unicellular like chlamydomonas chlorella and desmids multicellular like filamentous algae spirogyra and eulothrix or colonial algae like volvox chlorella it is a unicellular green alga found in stagnant fresh water it keeps floating in water 
It is spherical or subspherical in shape and has a cup shaped chloroplast and a central nucleus. It reproduces only asexually by producing spores. Chlorella is used by scientists for research related to photosynthesis. It is a cheap source of high grade proteins and vitamin B complex and is used as food supplement. It utilizes atmospheric carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. Chlamydomonas It is a unicellular green alga found in stagnant fresh waters and also in swimming pools and soil. It has two flagella at the narrow anterior end which help in swimming. The cell is oval and has a large cup-shaped chloroplast, a pyrenoid and a nucleus. Pyrenoid stores starch and lies in the chloroplast. It has an eye spot which is sensitive to light. Desmids They are also unicellular algae that are bright green in color. They are found floating in fresh water, either singly or in groups. They occur in a variety of attractive shapes. Their body is formed of two identical halves connected by isthmus. Desmids can survive in clear and nutrient-poor water. They cannot grow in nutrient-rich, polluted water. Therefore, desmids are used as bioindicators in monitoring conservation of aquatic and semi-aquatic habitats. Spirogyra It is a green, unbranched, filamentous alga. It forms scum on the surface of stagnant water of pools, ponds, and ditches. The filamentous body of Spirogyra has a row of rectangular cells. Each cell has one or more bands of spiral chloroplasts and a centrally placed nucleus. The cell has a cellulose wall covered with a slimy mucilage. Spirogyra reproduces by fragmentation of filaments. This is called vegetative reproduction. Sexual reproduction is by conjugation in which two cells of two filaments join in a ladder-like fashion by a conjugation tube. Exchange of gametes occur through the conjugation tube. Volvox It is a freshwater colonial alga. Its colony looks like a tiny green ball floating in stagnant water of ponds by beating flagella. It has a few hundred to thousands of similar cells that are held together in a mucus-like substance. They form a peripheral layer on the surface of spherical colony. Each cell of Volvox resembles Chlamydomonas having two flagella and a chloroplast and synthesizes its own food. Blue-green algae Cyanobacteria Blue-green algae are called cyanobacteria because of their resemblance to bacteria in their structure. Cyan refers to their blue-green color. These algae may be unicellular, multicellular, or colonial. Examples are Nostoc, Anabina, and Oscillatoria. Brown algae. Brown algae, also called seaweeds, have brown pigment along with chlorophyll. They are marine 
and multicellular. They store a large amount of minerals like iodine and iron. Examples are fucus, laminaria, sargassum, red algae. Red algae have red or black pigment in addition to chlorophyll. The red pigment is called phycorhydrin, which can absorb blue and purple light. These algae appear red, black, violet or brown in color. They are found in deep sea. Chondrus is an example of red algae. Golden brown algae. Diatoms. Diatoms are the examples of golden brown algae. Diatoms are marine algae which have cell membrane with silica. They are found abundantly in seas estuaries, lakes, ponds and rivers and form the major part of phytoplankton. Comparison between useful and harmful algae Useful algae, they are a rich source of minerals like sodium, potassium, iodine and proteins. Now let's see what harmful algae do. Well, some algae grow rapidly in ponds and lakes, forming thick layers of algae called algal bloom. Useful algae enrich the water with oxygen as a result of photosynthesis. Rapid growth of harmful algae sometimes causes poisonous effect after they die. They thus pollute the water. This leads to eutrophication. Some useful algae help in nitrogen fixation. For example, anabina and nostoc. Increased growth of harmful algae results in decrease of oxygen level in water. Seaweeds are consumed on a large scale in China and Japan. Low oxygen level in water leads to the death of aquatic plants and animals. Red and brown algae help in making medicines. They release toxins making water unfit for drinking. Eutrophication Eutrophication is a process in which water bodies receive excess nutrients that stimulate excessive growth of algae called algal bloom that reduces dissolved oxygen in the water. When dead plants decompose, this causes other organisms to die. Sources of nutrients are fertilizers from agricultural fields, nitrogen from the atmosphere, erosion of soil containing nutrients and sewage effluents.